The way the light shines through the Venetian blinds creates almost a war paint effect on Willard's face. This wasn't the first time that cinematographer Vittorio Storaro played with the striped shadows and light from Venetian blinds. In fact, by this time, it was almost a trademark of Storaro. Storaro had been finishing up his cinematography work on Dario Argento's The Bird with the Crystal Plumage just before moving on to his next job, The Conformist by Bernardo Bertolucci. You might remember that Storaro got offered the job of cinematographer on Apocalypse Now because of Coppola's love of The Conformist. Well, due to scheduling, Storaro went straight from The Bird with the Crystal Plumage to The Conformist and had very little time to prepare. He met with Bertolucci less than a week before filming would begin. Storaro saw some Venetian blinds and immediately had the idea to use the striping effect of the light coming through the blinds for a scene they were preparing. I said, uh, Bernardo, let's create a kind of cage around this character. Let's use uh, the light uh, in so sharp way that there is no any embrace, no any harmony between uh, light and shadows. He was extremely happy to discover on the day that the costume designer had a similar idea and dressed the actress in black and white stripes. Storaro was very interested in the separation between light and shadow and later came across this Alfred Stieglitz photo from 1889 in northern Italy depicting a woman striped by the shadows and light coming from the blinds. He would later revisit an old short film that he had worked on in which he had forgotten that he had also used the striping effect of Venetian blinds. They had a soundstage and he had a student grip take all the stage lights down from overhead and place lights on the other side of the set's window. In Storaro's mind, the light represents one thing and the dark represents the opposite, and with the blinds, we get a strong sense of the conflict and separation between these two things. The Conformist is about a man's struggles with being swept up by fascism. He tries to conform, but there is a conflict within himself. This conflict is represented by the separation of light and shadow, reality, and the artifice created by fascism. Amore. Storaro said that Bertolucci would express each scene in the proper conscious way, but not completely. There was always some part that was suggested or symbolic or hiding in the shadows. This likely encouraged Storaro when heightening reality for Apocalypse Now. Here we can already see the conflict between light and shadow as representing this conflict in Willard. The light is civilization, and the shadow is the dark primal nature of humankind. Civilization is creeping in from outside, but it appears that he is already approaching the heart of darkness when we meet him. There's a conflict in every human heart between the rational and the irrational, between good and evil. 